Okay, folks, well, welcome to what promises to be probably one of the worst videos that I've ever made. And that says a lot coming from me. Now, we're back in the land yacht. And we are going to talk about some of our tuning issues that we're having here. And we're going to do that while attempting to go for a little bit of a drive. So, second gear, give me some lights. Let's see if we can drive. Can we drive? Yes, we can drive. Okay. So, um, as you will probably know if you've been following this little series, uh, we have upgraded the yacht from DC to AC induction motor drive system uh, using the Hubner inverter control logic and the motor that I chose um, is giving me some problems now I chose this motor because of the fact that I have quite a low voltage in this car as it, as it used to be a DC system uh, I've only got nominally 192 volts uh, which is for 60 uh, CALB CA180 cells um, and the motor that I chose has a AC voltage rating of depending on you know what part of the plate that you read um, of 130 to 180 volts um, AC now the problem that I hit is at low power or sorry, at low RPMs, uh, I have very little usable torque. And I'm driving along here, I'm in second gear. We're now doing 40 miles per hour and I'm up near about 4,000 RPM. And I have loads of power in the car now. Uh, I'm drawing about 120 amps, 130 amps now as I'm going on the throttle a little bit more, 150. We're driving away here, uh, just coming up now on 4,000 RPM. And I've loads of power, we're going up a hill. <laughs> We've just tripped out. I had to say it, didn't I? Had to, uh, had to kind of, um, what's the word for it, jinx myself. Uh, probably got a current spike there because I'm running my current limit at 600 amps on my overcurrent trip at 750 so she probably didn't quite like me for that plus as well i still have a little bit of a noise problem on my uh on my encoder which i am going to fix with some proper grounding fairly soon uh, but we have a very drivable vehicle here now uh, this motor really likes high revving uh, we're coming up to 4,000 revs now. Um, now one of the bad things about my gearbox is that the third gear synchro is completely shot. Uh, I've got some regen going on here now. Really nice. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of usable power here now. Um, but anyway, the problem I have is when I'm at low when I'm at low speeds like say doing something like a hill start or pulling out of a junction or something like that uh, we basically end up with very little torque and the motor current just maxes out um, almost immediately and that causes the current limiter to kick in and then we basically sit there creeping uh, which is not you know ideal at all um, so that's kind of where we're at folks uh, but we have gone from you know a point of having potentially no drivability in the car to just tuning the parameters 
as I say now, actually having something that's quite, you know, quite usable. Um, we're coming up to a junction here, and I've got a stop sign, so I'm going to basically just come down here at my speed, and I'm regenning, you know, regenning very nicely here uh, to a stop. I'm just going to creep into the junction. Now, as long as I'm moving there, I'm okay. And now I've hit the current limit. So just, I've eased my throttle back. And now I'm picking up nicely. I'm pulling 140, 150 amps. You know, the motor is spooling up. I've got a chance going into fourth gear here now. So as I say, the, uh, there, we're in fourth gear now. Got 2,000 RPM and 120 amps, and we're up to 50 miles per hour. You know, going down a little hill here. Maybe a little bit of regen. See, I love having re the regen available here. course I forget now that with the regen when I push the uh, when I push the brake it's gonna bring the motor to a stop so I got to remember that when I'm changing gear um, so I'm just gonna drive up here a little bit uh, let's put a bit of air on I don't have the heater wired up yet so just a couple of wires but as usual I don't have it done just going to reverse in here and we'll turn around and head back to the house um, but yeah it's uh, kind of weird go on which way are you going go on pal there you go now we're all friends here um, and the parameter set that I have now has probably taken me a couple of days really to get to so second gear here, a little bit of a downhill. I can pull away, you know, I'm not too bad here. Um, but if I try and accelerate beyond, I accelerate reasonably there now. Probably make a liar out of me for the first time. Well, not for the first time me telling a lie, but the first time the car wants to play. Now, going back the way, is going to be a little bit more of a challenge because the hills are kind of against us so I'm kind of keen to see but here we are pulling out of a junction now um, so I can just ease myself out you know there I've hit my current limit now back my throttle off a little current limit goes away I'm pulling up the hill nicely here now 170 amps, three and a half thousand revs. You know, we're accelerating quite reasonably here. I'm gonna stay in second, there's 4,000 RPM. Very nice here, I'm at four and a half thousand revs now, coming up to 50 miles per hour. Close my throttle, just coming back to the junction. I'm gonna regen into the junction here. Just bring my mechanical brakes in here as well now, because this is a bit of a crazy junction. There's four uh, stop signs and you know, sometimes nobody really knows who the priority is. So again, I'm accelerating out easily here. I'm not, I'm not really thumping it hard. I lean on her a little. You know, accelerate out there. About 190 amps there. Yeah, we're actually, we're not doing badly, folks. Um, much more drivable than we were. Uh, the, the, the thing that does worry me though 
is having to do a hill start. Now that was kind of interesting because the power just came almost on immediately there that I pushed the throttle. But I suppose that's because the motor is at such a high RPM now that we go straight into the field weakening area. Um, we're really, we're flying along here and here now. Um, really liking second gear. I would pop her into third, but the third gear synchro is shot in this gearbox. So the guy that sold me the gearbox is going to get a piece of my mind now. Just for the fun of it, I'll try to go into third here for you guys. You can prepare for the crunch. Oh, lovely. Yep, we have no synchro in third at all. But we're in third now some metal fragments going around the gearbox I'm sure. Um, I'm holding my own here. Uh, just coming up the hill. Yeah, very much holding my own there now. I mean the, the Land Yacht is a heavy car. It's got a heavy battery pack in it, um, so yeah, you know, it's uh, it's just that little bit now, that last little bit is getting the low torque to behave itself for me. Uh, I'm gonna regen now. Oh, I just popped out of gear. <laughs> oh, joyous. Try to go back to a second. There we are. So yeah, third gear is shot. To the point that the um, yeah, let's try fourth. Yeah, there's fourth now. Just a little bit. Yeah. So great. Thank you, Rene, for selling me a Duff gearbox. Very kind of you. Yeah. You know, I drove 84,000 miles with a gearbox with a DC motor in it and never wrecked the synchros. Then I think, oh, well, maybe I'd better get a newer gearbox, you know, in case I wrecked the synchros, right? Or in case I had wrecked the synchros. Um, and then, yeah, you know, this, this decides to happen. So, there you go. So I'm going to stay in fourth here just to see what it's like. A little bit of a hill there, but yeah, we can we can pull our way through it. Let's slow right down here now, because the old shopping district uh, can be a bit mayhem. Our second now, you see how easy it, it is to shift when you've a working synchro. Oh yeah, we just tripped out there now, so I guess it didn't quite like that. Should have enough energy just to make the turn here. We'll do a reset. There we go. Now we're back on. Yeah, my parameters are a little bit crazy at the minute, um, but it it is actually giving me quite a drivable vehicle, as you've just seen there. Um, And the new power steering pump is great. It really actually works this time. So as I say folks, I'm gonna, yeah, that's okay. As I say folks, that is kind of where we're at with the yacht at the minute. Um, we have various problems, yes, um, but we're getting through them. Uh, let me just check the spot values here. I just want to check something, see what our temperature looks like on here after that drive. Uh, heat sink temperature 25.6, so that's perfectly cool. Um, all right, we will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, 
Check the links in the description for whatever is there. And uh, don't do anything crazy. Happy yacht tuning.